Welcome to this demonstration on compliance with vRealize Operations. vRealize Operations is your one-stop cloud management solution to ensure the utmost performance of your environment, to make sure that you're able to manage your capacity for current and future demands, as well as be able to reclaim wasted resources and run as efficiently as possible. Troubleshooting is made easy through vRealize Operations through the Troubleshooting Workbench and all of the rich metrics and data collected by vRealize Operations, as well as log data collected by vRealize Log Insight. And of course, then there's the compliance side of things too, to make sure that your environment is configured correctly and in compliance with the various standards. And so today we're going to be looking at the compliance option right here under the Configuration Management pillar. So I'm going to go into compliance and in here we're going to see benchmarks for both VMware security configuration guides. So this includes our vSphere security configuration guide, vSAN, NSXV, and NSXT to compare your environment to these various guidelines. Now each of these cards is going to show how compliant you are. So in this example, we've only got 1% of our environment in compliance with the vSphere security configuration guide. Now, if we look in here, the security configuration guide is going to compare your vSphere objects, such as virtual machines, ESXi hosts, distributed virtual switches, distributed port groups, and vCenter. So all of our compliance shows up as alerts within vRealize operations. And again, I can see that, you know, I've got 16 compliant systems compared to 1300 that are non-compliant. So I have a total compliance score of 1%. So there's a lot of work to be done here. And I can see the number of objects that are not in compliance over here. So we're going to take a look at one of our ESXi hosts. So if I look at the ESXi host violation alerts, we can take a look at the first host here. And what this will do is give us a punch list of all of the hosts that are not in compliance. We also have a visualization here to be able to see how many host systems we have that are not compliant, as well as those that are compliant. So let's take a look at this first host here our VRNI TMM ESXi 09. So if I open up this alert, I can see the various violations that this host has against the vSphere security configuration guidelines. For example, I can see that there's no timeout for my ESXi shell or SSH sessions, and that persistent logging is not configured on this host. So I can go through and take a look at this as, again, a punch list of things that I need to do to get this host in compliance. Now, of course, I could take this list and create a host profile and apply it to the cluster and then come back to vRealize Operations and see how much I need to do to get all of my hosts within compliance. Now, let's take a look at a virtual machine. So I'm going to go back into our compliance and I'm going to expand the virtual machine violations here. And again, it's a punch list of all the various virtual machines that are not in compliance with this configuration guide. So I'm going to go into this first virtual machine here and what this will do is take a look at all of the vSphere configurations for this virtual machine. So for example, virtual disk shrinking is enabled. So here is the parameter that we need to configure here. And I also have display adapters other than VGA enabled. And down here is the advanced configuration for this virtual machine. So I'll just go through these four items here to configure this virtual machine and it will become compliant. And while we're looking at our objects, there's also a compliance tab right here for this object. So I could go in here and I could see all of the various violations that this virtual machine has. So again, our vSphere configuration. I can also look at my DISA configuration here. We also have compliance for, again, vSAN and for NSXV. So let's take a look at NSXV. I'll expand out my edge gateway, which I have five violations. Now over here on the side, again, I can see how many compliant and non-compliant systems I have. And then what is the percentage of compliance, which is driving this score right up here. So let's take a look at this particular edge services gateway and see what I need to do to be compliant with the vSphere security guidelines. And in this case, SSH is running on this edge services gateway. So I'll just simply disable it and be in compliance. vRealize Operations also has compliance benchmarks for six industry standards such as the Defense Information Security Agency, the Federal Information Security Management Act, the Health and Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, the International Organization for Standardization, Payment Card Industry Standards, as well as the Center for Internet Security Standards. 
Now all of these regulatory benchmarks are available out of the box, and activation is very simple. Just by clicking on Activate from Repository, this will take me in where I can go and, and I can find the CIS Compliance Pack and click Activate to turn this on. And just like with the vSphere Security Configuration Guides, we have scores for our compliance for each of these standards. Now let's take a look at the Defense Information Security Agency benchmarks. Again, I've got my work cut out here. I have 1144 objects that are not in compliance compared to 234, which is driving my compliance score of 16%. Under the alerts list, I can see the number of virtual machines, the number of distributed port groups, ESXi hosts, and distributed virtual switches. And of course, over here, I can see the number of virtual machines that are not in compliance compared to the number that are in compliance. Same with host systems, distributed port groups, etc. Now let's take a look at one of our ESXi host findings here. And I'm going to expand this one for VCF ESXi-4. Now there are a number of findings for this host, such as the ESXi shell is enabled, there's no timeout for the shell or for SSH, and Active Directory is not being used for local user authentication. And scrolling down, I can see even more advanced configuration options, such as the bridge protocol data units are enabled for this host, so I need to disable that to, again, be in compliance. Now, as you've noticed, all of these compliance findings show up in vRealize Operations as alerts. So what I can do with these alerts is I can go in, I can look at my alert definitions, and I can do a search for PCI. So this is showing my payment card industry findings. So if I go in and edit my ESXi host findings here, I can go in and I can configure notifications for this. So for example, I could send a Slack notification to my security team whenever an ESXi host is out of compliance, or I can send an email. I could even open up a ServiceNow incident as a result of these being alerts. Compliance findings can be shared easily as reports through vRealize Operations. So if I take a look at my reports here, I already have a filter for showing my PCI compliance report. And I've already gone through and generated a report for one of my vCenters. So if I take a look at this report, I can open it up as a PDF or as a CSV. Now inside the PDF report, if I go ahead and open this up, so for example, my vCenters, my distributed switches, my distributed port groups, my host systems, and for my virtual machines. So if I scroll down and take a look at my vCenters here, there are no PCI compliance findings for my vCenters. Scrolling down even further, my distributed switches are looking fine. And then for the distributed port groups, so this again gives me a punch list of the you know, name of this distributed port group, and then the uh, parameter here. So in this case, forge transmits are not set to reject, so I just need to go through and set that. And you can see down here for this distributed port group, the same thing, right? Forge transmits policy needs to be set to reject. Scrolling down even further, I can see my uh, ESXi hosts, go through and configure all these for my ESXi hosts, and then also for my virtual machines. Now before I mention I could create a host profile to get all of my ESXi hosts in compliance, however there's also another really cool thing we can do with vRealize Operations through our integration with vRealize Orchestrator. And we have workflows for automatic remediation, so whenever an alert gets triggered for an ESXi host, we can automatically have vRealize Orchestrator run a workflow to get that host back in compliance. So let me show you how that works by triggering a manual remediation. So I'm viewing one of my ESXi hosts here, and I'm looking at the Alerts tab in this example. Now I can go in and I can change the grouping of my alerts from time to definition. So in this case, I can see my definition for ESXi host is violating vSphere security configuration guides. I'll go in and I'm going to take a look at this alert. I can open up the alert, and then there's this wonderful button right here to apply host security configuration. What this button will do is it will launch that vRealize Orchestrator workflow to remediate all of these issues that we have down below here for this host. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on Apply Security Configuration Rules for this host. And if I click Begin Action, vRealize Orchestrator is going to spin up this task to resolve these issues. So again, I can trigger this manually through the alert, or I can actually have the alert automatically resolve these for me. Now, if you want more information on how this works, I recommend checking out a V brown bag by John Diaz, where he dives deep into how all of this comes together. It's really worth a watch. And finally, vRealize Operations gives you the flexibility to create your own compliance rules. 
to make sure that you're in adherence with, say, corporate compliance policies, or perhaps it's even a mix of multiple policies, and you don't want to have separate cards for, say, PCI or HIPAA. I can actually go in here and I can take a look at my custom benchmarks and I can add a new custom compliance benchmark. So if I click on here, I have the option to either import an existing benchmark or create a new custom benchmark. I'll just give this a name and say corporate policy benchmark. And here I can see a list of compliance alerts. So I can actually look at my various compliance standards here. So say for PCI, Maybe I just want to create a custom compliance standard for just my virtual machines for PCI and maybe even for CIS. So I'll take a look and add my virtual machines for CIS. Again, I can take a look at all of my compliance alerts. So if I've created custom compliance alerts, I can again add that to this custom compliance policy. So once all of my alerts here are configured, I can go ahead and I can click next and I can apply it to my various vRealize operations policies. So this is where we decide what objects get counted against this compliance, right? Maybe I don't want to look across my entire environment, but maybe just a certain subset of virtual machines. I can do that through my policies. And this also applies for the out-of-the-box compliance as well. So you don't have to count all of your ESXi hosts in, say, your PCI compliance if you're not really taking credit card data um, anywhere else in the environment. Maybe it's just a single vSphere cluster. Well, you can apply that to just that cluster. So there's a lot of flexibility within vRealize operations for compliance. So thank you so much for your time today and taking a look at this demonstration. I hope this has shown you the value of vRealize operations for compliance. For more information, visit vrealize.vmware.com.